That's right, Sleepy, more of this game. <clears throat> so we just, uh... Save the queen. I still need to figure out the stuttering problem. It might just be that's how this version of the game just plays. It just kind of... I don't know. You know? What are my thoughts on the JRPG Mickey glove cursor? What do you mean? In this game? I haven't really noticed. Oh, that. Oh, like Master Hand, like Smash Bros. The little thing you, you pick up your little tokens. And... Gino Squirrel. remember it stuttering for you? I don't, I don't know if I'd exactly would call it stuttering, there's just something like... It just has like a lower... like... It's like choppy compared to when... at the start when we were emulating the Super Nintendo version. There was another thing I realized too when I uh... I was looking back on the Super Nintendo version of the, of the earlier part of the stream. It's more zoomed out. So like when we're walking around and stuff, it's like in this version it's more zoomed in and it kind of feels a little cramped or claustrophobic. And I kind of would like if we were pulled back a bit more because it, it looks like, it feels like I'm sitting too close to the screen at a movie theater, if that makes any sense. Like if you were like in one of the, those super close seats. Which is almost kind of weird, because you think they would have more room to pull back since there's uh, it's a wider aspect ratio. Tried, did, did we try disabling Steam input? I think we did. Let me check. Properties, controller. Disable Steam input. I remember you telling me to go there and I looked at it, but I, I couldn't remember if I had disabled it or not. Uh, it's on disable Steam input now. But uh, Sword was also talking about a mod which gives the game a fil more of the CRT filter, which I think I also would like if we could figure that. I, I, I just didn't. I had been focusing on other things. Uh, these guys just kind of always show up here, don't they? Might have to restart, yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll do it. When, when we get through the forest, then I'll save, and then we'll... We'll restart it real quick. We, ke we keep picking up Pangeas. I noticed. Quite close enough to get all of them. 
Oh, I did get all of them though. You lied. Or I just didn't see the glove that was around the top one. For trash mobs, there should be an auto battle option that speeds things up and makes everyone auto attack. Where would I look for that option in the menu? <clears throat> and by trash mob, I assume you mean just weak enemies, like that we've kind of out leveled in the controls. Should be a button you press to toggle on and off. Oh, why? It looks like. Oh, you can flee from battle with L and R at the same time. You can open map with L and R at the same time. Pause battles temporarily. Huh, temporarily. So you pause for just like a few seconds and then it unpauses or what? Alright, let me save. And then we can reopen and see if the stuttering has helped at all. Oh. It still blows my mind that start doesn't go to the menu. You gotta press B to go to, or sorry, y, y to go to the menu. It just seems like start would be the obvious thing. Does start not do anything on this? Start only pauses battles, so that would be in the middle of battle. Outside of battle, start doesn't do anything. Or select, I guess. It's very strange. Okay, restarting. Squirnix. Wait, no, this was just square back then, wasn't it? There was no Enix. They hadn't fused yet. Uh, that might have fixed it. it that might have fixed it. Let's see. Yeah, I think that did help. Yeah, I think that fixed it actually. Yeah. This does feel better. So assuming that we change the timeline back to where lunch can exist again, uh, I'm assuming she would reappear where she first vanished, right? Which was wherever the queen's room was. It was one of these, I think it was the second one I checked. Yeah, this is it. In fact, what do they have to say? He truly was very image of our queen. The real queen lean was somewhere else then. It's just as I thought, queen lean. A great number of things change as the years go by, but if there's one thing that will ever be the same, it's women and their insufferable love of gossip. You say that right in front of them as you're like listening in on the gossip. Oh. There she is. Just in time. Huh, what happened? Princess Nadia. <clears throat> Jano. <laughs> I wasn't even the one who said your name, so why did you respond with my name? It was awful. I was so afraid. I couldn't see or feel anything, but I knew I was someplace cold. How'd you know it was cold if you couldn't feel it? I wonder if that's what it's like to die. No, you didn't die, you just ceased to ex ever exist. It's actually worse than dying. Your Highness, I... You came to help me too. Wait, Your Highness? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I guess you guys figured me out, huh? Sorry, Gino, I didn't mean to trick you. Well, I know she said she knew it was cold. I'm just wondering how she knew that. 
My name is really Nadia. My father is King Guardia the 33rd. Lupin the 33rd. I just wanted to go to the fair and have fun like everyone else, but if you'd known who I really was, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair. You would. Would you, Jaina? Yeah, why not? Oh, Jaina, that's why I like you. The real queen's safe, right? Let's go home, Jaina. But how do we go home? I don't know that we have the means to do that. I don't think we've discussed that. You're returning home? I do not know from where you held, but I wish you a safe journey. The real queen lean was somewhere else then, it's just as I thought. Hmm, the longer I look at you, the stronger the resemblance to her majesty. It truly is incredible. That must be a reference to the Beatles song, Her Majesty. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, but she doesn't have a lot to say. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, but she changes from day to day. Wanna tell her that I love her a lot. We truly could be twins. Are we gonna tell them the truth that we're from the future? You get along well with the king now you hear or I'll get angry. Actually, I wouldn't even be able to do that, would I? Huh? Oh. Uh, never mind. I wish you all the best. They don't want to ruin the past by explaining the future, I guess. You could be Queen Lean's twin. He really crashed into the door. What happened to our 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 uh, frog friend Les? He was the real hero of of us all, and he just maybe he's at like the t in the town somewhere. Okay, so what? Why the auto battle? Alright, that worked. Oh, it's already, it's already on, okay. Using Y to open the menus is how it was on the S Super Nintendo version as well. That's so weird. You have a start and select right there on your Super Nintendo controller, so... Also, we just learned a new dual tech, it, it looks like. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to look around town for the frog. I had to make a, a pet. Oh, aren't these Bulma's ancestors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, but we found her though. Yeah. My husband wants a daughter both clever and fair. I was looking at some of the differences in the Super Nintendo version just out of curiosity like with the dialogue. And I remembered with that line in particular, she said um, it was more emphasis on he doesn't just want a daughter that's beautiful but also ju just as uh, intelligent as she is uh, pretty. Whereas in here, it just sounds like that's just, you just want both. Like, I don't know if that makes any sense. It seemed like there's a little more emphasis on like, on the intelligence part. Residence. Residence evil. Select was the map button and start was your confirm button for text entry and pauses as an old. The original seemed rough in some key scenes. I'm sure it was, but I do honestly feel like I, I was enjoying some of the, the way that the dialogue was in the Super Nintendo version. Cause the dude was he he was calling the he was he made reference to the big one with the earthquakes. Which is like that was just that just got to me personally. 
And then also, the lady in the inn, in this version, just says like, Oh, hi, I hope I can get off soon so I can go to the festival. And then in the Super Nintendo version, she's like, Oh, you're gonna take your bloody time? I think I could see why why some people do prefer the the, the Super Nintendo translation. Maybe he's at the end. I hope he's not in here either. Those are incidental dialogue moments you could go the whole game without seeing. Yeah, but that's just what I saw the first like five or ten minutes of playing and I was already like really enjoying that. So like if that's what it, I was just from that from the first tiny bit of the game, I'm sure I would have kept enjoying as it went on. But right now I'm just trying to figure out where to go, because they're like, oh let's go back home, but like we we don't have any indication. Unless Bulma managed to like open up a, a, a portal back where we came in from, I guess. I guess that would be the best bet, right? Because I know we, we showed up from the canyon. Well, that's new, I think, so we probably are going the right way. My level increased. Oh, there we go. I wasn't sure if we had to try to find our, our frog friend first or not, but I guess not. So how do we get home? Well, your highness, we... Please, call me lunch. Well then, lunch, observe. Whoa. Tell me you're amazing. We blink a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I should be more humble in front of... Enough already. I'm a princess, but what? what's that mean? I can't do anything special. But you, you're incredible. I'll trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so... It's official. The pact has been made. Now they've traded places. They change a couple of characters' personalities and heavily foreshadow slash spoil some plot points, really. I probably wouldn't have noticed. They're basically portals to the same location in a different time. The gates are unstable, that's why they appear and disappear all the time, so I use the principle behind my telepod device to create this gate key. That's what's locking the gate in place. But why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. Like your pendant? This is starting to sound complicated, why don't we head back to our own time for now? Alright, coming, Jaina. We did it, we saved the day. What's a hell of a thing to say to someone who just invented time travel? Oh, that- Oh, that she would trade places with her, yeah. Cause she literally could go back in time and cause that to happen. Woo, we made it. Jeno Boma, why don't you come back with me to the castle? It would give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really sorry for putting you through all this lunch. What are you talking about? It was the most fun I've had in months, and I made new friends too. Jane, I'll be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more snooping into why that gate appeared. See you again soon, Bulma. Bulma. <clears throat> are you ready to escort me home? No. I want to play more games at the fair first. Now that I know how combat and everything works, I wonder if this guy actually has any good swords for sale. 
Whoa! Bronze blade and then silver sword. But can't only the frog dude? Oh no, I can I can equip it. It looks like. Hell yeah, let's get that. That'll boost our attack by eight points. This dude had some good swords for sale the whole, well, at least that one good sword for sale that whole time. I live on the continent to the east. Come and see me if you ever have the need. By the way, any chance I could talk to that lady? We already, we already discussed this. No, stop. Uh... I still can't get over that you named her Bulma, one of the only characters with a normal name, and actually tells you their name. Well, they all have default names that you replace, don't they? Like the- like Les was just called Frog, Lunch had some other name in place, like Mer- Me- 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 Lee or something, I can't remember. Marley. You know, Marley and me. I think it was Marie, actually. I think it was an I, it just kind of looked like an L. Or maybe it was Marley. I don't remember. Was it, was it Marley, Marley? My thought was it was supposed to be short for like Mer, like, or it was supposed to be a playoff of Merlin. You hate how Dragon Ball characters are named? What's wrong with Bulma? Bulma's better than an, in, in J Japanese, I think her name's like Bloomers or something. Her name's weirder in Japanese. Since her whole family's named after uh, different types of shorts. Cause Trunks is, you know, Trunks. And then I think uh, her dad is like Dr. Briefs or something. Bulma, Buruma. Oh, I never thought about that. Buruma. Buruma. Bulma. But Bulma sounds like its own thing, at least. And it's funny, because I remember seeing an episode of Dragon Ball as a kid where Krillin still doesn't know Bulma that well, and he calls her Bloomer, Bloomers by accident, and she yells at him, It's Bulma, not Bloomers! Like, she gets mad at him. And then I found out later that that was what her name was in, in the Japanese version. Yeah, I didn't realize that that was like a, a play off the, the Japanese name in general. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm supposed to take her home. Well, let's save. Oh, it says Middle Ages and then Present. So it just said right there that we were in the Middle Ages and now we're in the Present. You can't take any of their names seriously? Goku, I, I think Gohan is like cooked rice or something, right? Like that. All every Saiyan is named after uh, a vegetable, I believe. So Kakarot is like is supposed to be like carrot, I think. But Goku's Saiyan name, Kakarot, so Vegeta just sounds like vegetable already. Raditz is radish. Oh, Gohan means rice and a meal, generally. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's right. We need to take her to the castle. She doesn't live up here. Take the for the f oh. So this is where we had went to in the Super Nintendo version for a second. Might as well fight these guys, why not?
They're like mushroom frogs or something. Piccolo also kind of sounds like pickle, but that that's that's not on purpose. Piccolo is supposed to be named after the instrument because uh, there were multiple demons under King Piccolo named after instruments because there was like tambourine and like a couple other ones that I can't remember off the top of my head. So that's incidental. If anyone tries to tell you Piccolo's pickle, like that's not... It, it's it's all the Saiyans were the ones named after uh, vegetables. They're so modernized now. Voice. Princess Nadia. It's the Chancellor? Are you alright? Where on earth have you been? We heard you were abducted. We had soldiers combing the entire kingdom for you. I like how he's just a palette swap of the Middle Ages Chancellor. Huh, you back there. You're the one, are you? Thought you kidnapped the princess? No. Jaina only... Seize him! Seize the filthy terrorist! He deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crown! No, no, you mustn't. Why don't you listen to her? You fools. Stop this right now. What are you fools doing? But her highness, the princess, said... It doesn't matter what she said, seize him. Oh, why are we dead? We just... We just passed out. They're taking me to court? I mean, it's nice when names have, like, like second meanings behind them, or like... But I don't think that has to be the case for everyone. I, your chancellor, shall serve as prosecutor. I, Pierre, represent the defense. Members of the court, I will now bring forth the defendant, Jaina, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To fill the tickler? The tickler? capitalized because it's like an actual proper thing or hang upside down or shall we employ the guillotine the choice is yours good jurors now let us begin we shall first hear the testimony of the defense Jaina is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? Oh, our defendant's actually decent. The prosecution would have you believe that the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite to the contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Jaina if she could join him. Is this true? Who is responsible for initiating contact? Uh... Yeah, she told me to, to uh, take her around. That's true. <laughs> lunch was! He doesn't know who lunch is. That was a name she made up. Are you so certain? Our witnesses say that you were the one who bumped into the princess. Sure, but she... Wait, so this already shows that I didn't kidnap her because she's out and about by herself. Having subdued the princess, the defendant then coerced her into visiting Bulma's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that is not criminal abduction, I don't know what is. That's not how you press... That's not how you pronounce gu uh, guillotine? How do you pronounce it, then? 
Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Objection. This cannot possibly have any rev uh, relevance to the case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Dana's character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well. We have nothing to hide. The defendant's cold-hearted nature is irrefutable. He left? Wait, what is he doing? You remember the ch this child, don't you? The poor little girl who lost her cat. You wouldn't even listen to her cries. On the contrary, I listened to her cries like 10 times because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I remember you ignored me, liar. I talked to you like 10 times. There, there, you poor little dear. I know it must be a painful memory to recall. You may run along now. I think the people have seen enough. Have you ever stolen anything? Uh, yeah, that guy's lunch. Just because I didn't help her didn't mean I ignored her. Those are two very different things. Also, I tried to, uh... I tried to get the cat to her, I didn't know how to, it kept running away. Looking back and forth secretly, and then the what's her name isn't even there. Let me guess, you have to eat the lunch in order to start the next cutscene. That's all the one of the things I had to go around and do first, right? How could anyone sympathize with such a ruffian? The real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear. Greed. Your fortune did tempt you, did it not, Jaina? No. Are you sure you weren't in the least bit tempted? Not at all. Good people, please remember that the defendant claims he had no interest whatsoever in the princess as well. That's true. Let me introduce our next witness. These are examples that a positive and negative outcomes for you in the trial. But but these are things I had no control over. I mean, I guess I could have... Uh, I didn't know I was going to eat the dude's lunch. It didn't ask me, like, do you want to eat this person's lunch? He just automatically started eating it. And then the cat, when it, every time I went to the cat, which I also did that about 10 times, it would just run off screen. So there was nothing I could do with that either. So they're, they're like just purposely being ambig, uh, not ambiguous even, but just ob obtruse about how anything works. That's just kind of on them for making it like that. Dear me, I'm so nervous. I, I did try chasing after it every time. I followed it down. I literally followed it down because it would go down every time and then it never, uh, it was just gone every time. And then when I came back, it was back up on the screen. That man grabbed the pendant right after he bumped into the princess before he even checked to see if she was okay. That was because I saw her looking for it. And she'd already stood up. You tried to sell it to a merchant named Mel Melchior. No, I didn't. I tried to tell him not to because he kept talking to me. If I did, that was an accident. The trick you need to run, not walk. Sorry, walk, not run with the cat. I mean, I was standing still and talking to it, and then it ran off screen. Members of the jury, it's time for a verdict. If you believe the defense guilty, stand to the left. I mean, literally, I did every bad possible thing, apparently. But we didn't even get... Like, the whole point is... 
if if they just listened to the girl herself, she would have told them. It's just a bunch of old men. I already know what's gonna happen. They all. I'm just mashing the button. This I this would have been a lot better if there was like things that I would have been like, oh you know what? Maybe I did do some things that, that weren't that good, but instead it was all things that I I genuinely tried to figure out and it just nothing was making sense, like the thing with the cat and the girl. So it's actually just kind of annoying that the game's rubbing it in your face that you couldn't figure out figure it out. Okay, so she's trying to tell them that what actually happened. And the king says, all I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done, even royalty must obey the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about your little es escapade in town. We are through here. In the Super Nintendo version, there's a bug where the cat girl will always testify against you if you talk to her before bringing her the cat. Well, I wasn't able to bring her the cat anyways. This man is a seditionist who is meant to... I've never seen that word before. Seditionist. Who meant to overthrow our kingdom. It's like such a leap of judgment. He's been found guilty by trial. I trust him to your care. So this is the monster who abducted the princess. His execution is three days hence. See that he is still here to attend it. Funny how the ancestor royalty are all a lot more reasonable than these ones. Yes, sir. Guards. But I don't know what sedition is. Take the prisoner away. I didn't even have a chance though, because I did all the bad stuff that I was apparently not supposed to do anyways. If I at least did some of the good things, or even all the good things, and I still got thrown in jail, it would have felt more like, man, these people are screwed me over, and I wouldn't have felt as much about the game was just confusing me. The trial was over. Um, sedi sedition is acts to overthrow a government. We have two days remaining until execution. Yeah, this is pretty ridiculous. Pipe down, you. Futility, they're sending me to, to execution because I exist. Apparently. They have an endless cup of, of healing. What, a whole day passed already? How many times do I have to tell that filthy, if he won't quiet down, I'll quiet him down. Open the door. Works for me. Oh, I don't have any weapons or anything though. They're gonna beat me up.
That's what you get for not doing what you're told. Wait, I have my weapon? They never took my weapon from me? That wasn't very smart of them, was it? Wow, these guys are dummies. They arrested me. And they forgot to take my stuff. Okay, so we have full health and everything. But anyway, sedition is working to undermine a ruling government through speech or acts less direct than treason. So it's like more like a sneaky treason. Which, that doesn't even... What the hell? What are these? They're just little guys behind giant shields, I guess. There was a switch on the wall? Where, in the previous room? Oh, I couldn't even make that out. I, I, I... There was mention last time that there was a CRT, uh, filter, like, mod for this, and I'm wondering if I should use that. I'm also wondering if there's, like, a way to, like, zoom out the in the picture a little bit because that was um i was actually telling fac earlier that uh it, it's it feels a little too zoomed in and i had noticed that um on the Super Nintendo version, it was not zoomed in as much. And I think it might... Like the... It's it's zoomed in on your... Like your sprite. Everything is like... Is like um, no, it's not just wider horizontally. That's not true. I was actually comparing to my footage. Uh, of both versions. And it is zoomed in. It isn't just wider. Yeah, Jano can't crouch, unfortunately. Because the way I was describing it is like it feels like I'm sitting too close to the screen at a movie theater. What was that? I did like a weird hop. How's my health doing? Are they beating me up bad? Oh. Mid potion. Guess we knocked him out from behind. Is he ever going to turn left? Of course. Turn right, please. Now he's... okay. There we go. Too bad he didn't get any XP for that. Oh, he's in front of this. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, someone's about to be executed. Can we help them? They probably don't deserve it knowing what happened to me. I don't trust this legal system. Thank you, that was close. I'm Fritz. My father runs the market and trees. Stop by if you're ever in the area. Is 
It's slightly cropped in vertically. Yeah. Okay. Hope I'm going the right way. I have... Oh, okay. Bronze armor. Oh. Probably about time to take a potion. What does it mean if it's green? Does that mean it's unnecessary? No, because the potion is green as well. Look at the wall, like a big dummy. What do you think you're doing? Fighting you? New since the last time I opened my inventory? Nope. Choose him, though. Oh, yeah, it is on auto battle still. Can you not turn off auto battle outside of battle? shelter uh, a bag of bones okay kind of weird Take away, take away, take away this ball and chain. What's that, an escape hole? Someone escaped right here. I don't know why I would want that closed. Shelter is like camping supplies used to rest and heal up to full HP MP at save points and on the world map. Oh, that's good to know. Oh geez, whoops. Oh. Okay. You can climb. But then you can't go left or right. So I don't... Oh. It's just, this looked like a hole right here, so it wasn't really... Get off like right here. Oh, there we go. Whoa. 
Oh, this must be that room I couldn't get into. Maybe. And there's a hole here. Oh, I guess we're going in. Or maybe this was the room I couldn't get into. 1500 G. Silver sword. Oh man, I just bought that. And I haven't even equipped it. I forgot to equip it. Damn it. I wasted 4,000 on that. The G's for goose, not geese. <clears throat> like a sell it or give it to someone. Hopefully. I don't think goose and geese work like that. I could be wrong. Okay, I turned it off. Heal. The mid potion is more powerful than the potion. Somebody help! <laughs> wow, that word ends a wimp. Oh my gosh! Uh, I guess she was gonna come help us anyways. You know, I came to rescue you. She's laughing and lifting her glasses. Oh, it looks like you didn't need my help after all. Well, well, we better not stick around too long. Let's go. Oh, look, we could save by that chair. A classified document's been left lying on the floor. Read it. Uh, well, no, because now I know I'm gonna get in trouble with for every little thing I do that's fun. So we'd better not. Especially since they gave me the option. Save, please. Save, please. Um, it's an in-between step between regular potions and high potions. So the regular potions are low potion. lo-fi potions to study to. He is unconscious. Obtain mid potion. Oh my gosh, actually five of them. Holy crap. That guy a lot. Dragon tank design specifications. Attention, warden of the Guardian Castle prisons. The head of the tank is equipped with the capacity to repair damage done to the body and a genius marvel of engineering. The head has also been enhanced with a shield to prevent damage by lightning and fire, leaving it vulnerable only to attacks with weapons such as swords and pistols. That's exactly the two types of weapons we use. Even even on the main character turned around and he was like blinking like okay. In short, your tank should be effectively invincible, provided no crazy lunatic gets the bright idea to run up and try to hack away at its head with the sword. I mean, that's, that's what I have anyways. What was that? I don't know. 
Oh, it's that thing we just read about. Forward, Dragon Tank, crush those conspirators. Uh-oh. Wait, let's do a tech. Did it just heal? It didn't even take any damage yet, that big dummy. It's immune to fire, so I guess I only want to do the Cyclone. Head repairs damage. Okay. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I'm gonna have to heal. Jeez, if I get the chance. She's gonna need one in a second. This was the first game to have swords in it. You were in this? select the head every time. Jeez. Stop. Oh, we destroyed the head. I guess now we're just attacking the rest of the body. Ow. Cyclones are both at the same time. Okay, I guess I can't heal anymore because we destroyed the head. Oh geez, she's gonna need a hill if she survives that. Me too. I'll have to look for that option when I get the chance. Okay, the will just got destroyed, so now I can't run into us anymore, probably, which is like the most powerful attack I've had. It's immune to fire, so... I don't know what that was, it just popped up. I was just trying to hit it before it hit me. It looked like some text box popped up. Did anyone else see what that was? I didn't catch it, like, at all. I wasn't looking at it. I was just aware enough that I knew they were there. My dragon tank, fix it quickly. Uh oh. Well, that's convenient. I think we're getting away with this. Wait, hang on. I was hoping they'd, they'd have like an idle animation or something. Nope, okay.
are we? Okay, we had just healed, thankfully. Hey, don't mind us. They're escaping. We've got no choice. We'll just have to plow through. They're escaping. Stop that right now. Uh, Princess Nadia. <laughs> oh, now you listen to her? That man is my friend and you'll treat him as such. But your highness, he was just about to get executed. You refuse to obey my orders? No, I forgive me, my lady. Hold it right there. On your knees, His Grace King Guardia the 33rd comes before you. This jerk. Father. Silence, Nadia. Your duties come before your whims. You're a princess before all else. No, I'm not. I'm a person first and princess second. All of these little excursions of yours outside the castle seem to be having a bad influence on you. It's not influence, it's common sense. Nadia. I can't live in this stupid castle anymore. I'm leaving. Princess Nadia. Come on, Jaina. Sounds good to me. Oh yeah, how did the Chancellor get out of that situation? Don't just stand there after them. Oh, Nadia. If only I wasn't a big jerk. There they are, don't lose them. nowhere left to run. I mean, I'm sure we could beat you guys up. Yeah, why don't I just beat them up? Wait, they're just... They just... <laughs> they just... That's all they do? They just kind of walk up to you and then tell you there's nowhere left to run. Dude, they're all talk and no bite. Oh look, another portal conveniently. It's like a dead end. A gate. Come on. Oh wait, there's one of the magical chests we can't open. Come on, we have no idea where it'll take us. We might not even be able to get back. Who cares, anywhere is better than here. I guess I didn't realize how much of a freaking dystopian society we lived in until we got back from saving you, funnily enough. This is totally irrational, you know. Hurry, Jano. There's nowhere left to run. Move away from that young hoodlum, your highness. Okay, guess there's nowhere left to run. They disappeared. Just as the legends foretold. Look at his mouth hanging open. He's shocked. And stunned. Yeek. Uh oh. Ow. There's no way the Chancellor can get us here. But where are we? The civilization here seems pretty advanced. I could tell by the blinking lights. It's almost like we're in another world. Did we go to the future this time? Are we gonna actually like be time traveling throughout the game? A mysterious force seals it shut. Wait a second. 
That sounds familiar. Oh my goodness, there's like dome societies. It's like Logan's Run. Tran Dome. Question mark. Got any cash? Got any? Not the kind that you want, probably. This stuff real? Never seen money like this before. Oh, well, I have some good stuff for you. Pocket Blaster. Ooh, why don't we upgrade Bulma's weapon? She would get a six-point upgrade. Iron Suit. All of us could benefit from this. So I take it you don't know much about Chrono Trigger. No, I don't know anything about this game. All I know is that it has multiple endings. That's why I didn't. I was trying not to spoil anything by the intro. Okay, we'll get the Pocket Blaster for Bulma, and then we'll get Iron Suit and Iron Helm for whoever. We'll figure out who is going to wear those. Oh, and I should sell this. If I keep saving money, someday I'll come in handy. That's what I tell myself anyway. Yeah, why don't we sell them that extra silver sword? Oh, hell yeah, 2,000 bucks. I'm gonna just hang on everything else for now. Uh, you're not hungry because a restaurant near you has 50 cent wings on Sunday nights. That's really good. That's a good deal for wings. I hope they're good wings. There's this wing place near my uh, campus, which is the best wings I've ever had. Their deal days are on Mondays and Tuesdays. It's the boneless deal. And then on Wednesday, it's the bone in deal. And it's one of those things where it's like too expensive to go to when it's not on a deal day, but if you do go on a deal day, it's like so worth it because it's like really good. Okay, now let's equip what we just got. You're getting a pocket blaster. Booyah. That'll make me go up 11, or this would make me go up 11, so either way. I'll do this, and then I'll give Lunch the Iron Suit. Oh, she's gonna go up 20. That's good. She has a ribbon right now, which does accuracy plus two. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. I think it it's to get you in the door to buy drinks. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of places hope you do. That's why they call them like happy hour specials. And they'll have like snacks and stuff on the happy hour specials. And it's like, well, I'm, I just want the snacks, thanks. Should be some fo food at Eris Dome to the northeast if you could get through Site 16 alive. Spectres that haunt the place can't be harmed by weapons like guns or blades. Uh-oh, spectres. Truce, never heard of a dome by that name. This is Trandom. Kingdom Chancellor, has the hunger driven you mad? Everyone's hungry in this dimension. Enerton, you get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it won't do a thing for your hunger. For free? Hell yeah. Yay. They're still just as hungry as before. They made sure to, to 
Add that in. Yeah, like Buffalo Wild Wings is one of those places where they just play sports on the TV. It's so loud though, especially if it's on like a busy day. Buffalo Wild Wings is another place where it's really only worth going to on a deal day as well, because it's really expensive. And then don't go on a day if there's like a big sporting event or something, because it's just, it's very loud. One time I, I went to Buffalo Wild Wings uh, close to closing time and they said, we're so sorry, we can't serve you alcohol. We're so sorry. And I was like, I did not, I didn't plan on getting alcohol. So I'm like, okay. And then at the end of the, when they were doing the check, they were like, we, we did your drinks for free because we're just so sorry that you couldn't get any alcohol. And they stole a potion. Well, hang on, how do I fight it? I, I ran into it on purpose to fight it. Berserker ring. That's annoying. You can't even fight it to get your stuff? Um. Trivia night. I've never done a, uh, I've never, I don't think I've ever been to a place, a trivia night place. My brother's Red Robins used to do a trivia night. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, we picked up some ring or something. Boost attack and defense cannot control wearer. Oh geez. But hang on. The power glove still has more strength, so I would be getting weaker just to lose control. And look, she'd be losing... Wow, this ring sucks. It claims to boost strength, but it doesn't... It actually makes you weaker and you lose control. That ring's garbage. I'm gonna have to sell that next chance I get. We could do a trivia uh, night. We could just like play Jackbox. We haven't done that in a while. God damn it. They're... When did she have a melee? I thought she had a gun. Uh, what's incorrect? Jackbox? Okay, we need to take out that flower first. No, guys, we want to... There we go. Now you can... It boosts their attack by 1.5 times and reduces physical damage by a third. It's just not reflected on the stat screen. Why wouldn't it be reflected on the stat screen? That like defeats the whole purpose. It makes it look useless. You think that would be a problem like in the Super Nintendo version that they fixed in the newer one, not something that's retained. That's very strange. Because it looks to me that it's just worse than the rings already have on since your, your stats are just getting lowered. Wait, was there a chest over there? Okay, that looked like a chest, but it was a trap, I think. I wish I wish that combat was paused while you were choosing who to attack as well.
But sort, if you made the trivia questions, then you would know all the answers to the trivia questions. Oh, that was a chest. There's a silver sword in there. Well, we know that those are worth 2,000. There's another chest over there. Still 500. Silver bow. Ooh. Who uses a bow? I don't know if any of our people use a bow. I don't. So, I don't think Bulma does. Lunch used the bow. She could use the bow. Oh, she's been using a bronze bow gun, so her attack will go up by 11. Ah, you can't avoid these guys. I want to use, what's the slash enemies with wind gusts, maybe that'll kill it in one hit. Nope, I shouldn't do too much damage. Aurora, restore a small amount of group HP to an ally. Oh. A chrono crossbow? Hypno way, put all enemies to sleep. Alright, let's go for it. One of them fell asleep. Wait. Oh. Aura is a different word than Aurora. Which one did I say? Look, it's hard for me to to read anything when this is all this is going on. Lunch leveled up. Great. That's funny. This music reminds me of uh, Jim Power, <laughs> of all things, which is also based in a futuristic. Place, but is a very weird game it could be compared to. Oh, these are the specters that can't be hurt by weapons. So we have to use, I hope, fire. Let's see. Because I think they said, okay, fire does work, good. So, um, need to wait and see if, there we go, fire. It's not a sake of reading faster, it's when, I, when there's a lot of things going on, I, I can't notice or catch or do many, many different things. It's not just the sake of not being able to read fast enough. It's the, it's the sake of there's a lot of different things happening at once. Like, I still don't have a hang on the combat at all. Like, I, I don't... I still don't have a good grasp or feeling or understanding of... It's just the fact that it's not that everything isn't just kind of fully on turn-based makes it a lot harder. Oh, you're saying you want vector font on the mobile version. Oh, of the mobile. So the mobile version of this game had Sans Serif Vector Front, okay. We're doing okay on health. This area is freaking huge though, and you can't skip past most of the enemies. 
too bad. Yeah, why don't we heal everyone and then the rest of us just attack? Well, that's a cool effect. Wait, she she shot the healing spell onto his sword as he was spinning around, so it like shot the healing dust onto everybody. Almost like fighting dudes is a core part of the game. You know, I mean, one of the one rare things I did hear about this game that I remember hearing about before playing was that you could uh, avoid fights. So, whoops. Whoa, this place is huge. Um, so that seemed like a core part of the game, if anything. Aris Dome. Oh, you know what? I should save while we're out here. Beyond the ruins. Sitar? Who are you? You there, where have you come from? We just came from the other side of the ruins to the west. What did you say? Hey, we've got people who crossed the ruins. What? Are you serious? So, there are people strong enough to fight those mutants? Uh, yep, that's me. My husband left for the food storage facility down below. We haven't seen him since. Daddy's gonna be back with some food soon. Is he though? There's something odd about you. Did you really come from the dome to the west? Yes. Alright, not that it really matters. Pardon me, I didn't even tell you my name. I'm Doan, a descendant of the former director of this information center. Was this an information center that I never visited in the past? This dome substructure holds a supercomputer and food storage facility, but the robot guards are still active and will not let us through. Ironic, is it not? We starve right on top of our own stores of food. That's messed up. I guess we'll have to go help you. <clears throat> Do you want to enter into the Enteron? Maybe. Is this a store? Do you have money? Yes. It is a store. Pocket Blaster. We already got these. I think it's all the same stuff we got before, but I will sell you a silver sword. That's what the other person said. I thought that was the saving tune for a second. Oh dang it, I thought that was gonna lead somewhere. Wait. Where's the robots guarding the food? We came in from this way. So maybe... No, we came in from... We came in from the bottom. There's a ladder down in the middle of the room. Oh! Man, I have such a hard time parsing the visuals in this game. I don't know what it is. You plan to go below? Of course. We've made many attempts. How, how offended do you think a society where like nobody has any food would be? 
You're like, my name's Lunch. So, oh, you're all starving? My name's Lunch, by the way. Alright, we're gonna try. We're not gonna fail. It's nice to see such spirited young people for a change. Careful then and come back alive. Oh, we will. What's this all about? This console controls the door lock. We need a password to get through. Let me guess the password. Maybe it's password. Oh geez, we're like way above. Look at the parallax scrolling. That's cool. Yeah, so I saw that this was a, one of the late release Super Nintendo games. Like Yoshi's Island, uh, 1995, I believe. Appears to be a decorative statue. A note is attached to it. Warning, anyone approaching the food stocks is subject to attack. I'm surprised I didn't try to steal my potions. The password is scram. Initiating command sequence. Do you know what's that? Heck if I know. Ask Boma. Let's smash this thing. Okay. They have little friends too. Wait for a combo to pop up. There we go. Fire! Robots don't like fire, right? Should probably fight the little ones first. On account of their little. Ow. Play another game, uh, Yasunori Mitsuda composed after this. Maybe this, you know what this one reminds? This song gives me um, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer vibes, especially with the keyboards. If you've ever heard any music from them, like Carnival Nine. Or is it counting down? I think it's counting down. I hope we're not supposed to kill before it hits zero because it's already at two. Oh, not at one. Zero. Pods revived. Ah, oh, what the hell? Triple counter delta attack. Well, I'm dead. I don't know if I have a little bit of health left. I need to heal. I... Okay, I'm just gonna give him this because I don't have time to figure out. No, just do aura on... Me? Uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer? No, no, that's that's a band. Oh, jeez, she's in trouble. That's not good. 
I doubt you could put robots to sleep. Oh, she can't heal herself though, so I need to give her potion. I guess we do want to take out the little one, but... I mean, the big one. Zero? Why did it do zero? Wait, why did it do zero that time? I'm so confused. When you do the aura whirl, it, she doesn't get healed for some reason. Which I'm gonna have to do again in a second if she... If the combo... There it is. Oh, I swear before there was no hand over her when I was checking for that. That's weird. Do I have no regular potions? I only have these potions? Okay, she's healed anyways, I guess. Why did we do zero damage to the big robot just a second ago? Didn't I, I just like I can't figure out anything while I'm playing this because it's just you're just constantly going 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 <sighs> That time we did damage to it So I don't know why I didn't it the other time I just have no idea what's going on I want to do her combo. There we go. Just take out these freaking. There we go. I can't do the Delta thing anymore. Yeah, I mean, this whole thing is just chaos for me. It's just, I'm kind of... trying my best to nudge myself in the right direction of what to do. I could have sworn I had done a fire attack on it earlier and it did damage. But I don't know. If it's immune to fire, I'll just not do fire. I just, I just, I don't really like this style of gameplay because I don't have time to think about anything. Like, it's just, it just feels like I barely know what I'm doing and it's just, hopefully, I, I survive. Like, I really, really much prefer proper turn base where you just, you can just, every single little action and movement, you can just slowly figure out what you're doing. Yuck, something reeks. Everything is completely rotten. The refrigeration must have failed. Well, that sucks. You know, look. He's not breathing. Must have died down here. Well... There's something in his hand. What do you suppose this is? Looks like some kind of seed. A seed, could it even grow in a place like this? A note's written on a soiled scrap of paper. That rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of this dome. Catch it. What rat? What rat? I didn't even see a rat. What are they talking about? At what point was there a rat? Did anyone see where a rat went? That's at least someone intentional of the ATB system. It's designed to reward quick decision making, but you have the wait mode turned on so you can take all the time to stretch the maze. I, I, I didn't see the rat. Did it just go down? That's the only way to go, right? So I assume it's not in this room anymore.
Oh, that enemy... Oh, that's a rat? That didn't look like a rat. I thought that right now it said there was a rat and it just ran off because I heard like the da -da noise. It sounded like... I thought they meant that right now there was a rat that ran off that we were chasing. Catch it. Yeah, because it says catch it as if it was... As if it was something that ran off. That's what made me think that. Run after and press A to catch it. I got it. Squeak, I give up. I'll tell you everything, Squeak. Yeah, I did not realize those things were rats at all. Press A, Y, and then B to activate the switch once you hear the sound. Oh god. It's hard for me to like, it's paused in certain moments, but then in other moments it's not paused, which just kind of makes it more chaotic for me. A, Y, B. There we go. Are these ones I should avoid now? No, now we're fighting, okay. It's not paused. If if I'm, if I'm like, it doesn't pause when I'm like deciding who to attack. So like right now, for instance, I have attack, and I'm like, okay, who am I going to attack? And if I wait and wait, it'll see, it'll attack, and that really just makes me like, I'm in like a rush because like, okay, I can't even decide who I'm going to attack without them hitting me first. There's a chest up here. Or I could press start to actually pause it. Let, let's see what that's like next time we get into a fight. Ghosts over there. Gosh, they really be droning though. Is that saying that it's not doing anything? What? Sometimes it makes the noise. I don't understand. This must be the supercomputer. Good, it's still operational. If we run a search on temporal distortions, we might just find our gate. I'm curious what your thought process is when choosing to run past enemies. Well, it's simple. I'm just saving time. I don't want to waste time fighting every single enemy I run into. That's one of the things about RPGs that just like takes up the most time is just enemy after enemy after enemy. And it'd be better if you could, you know, get to each of the story beats a little faster. East of here.
Proto Dome. Leave it to Boma, who'd have thought this machine could tell us something like that? What does this button do? Should she just, she just pull a DD from Dexter's lab and just press a random button? 1999 AD, visual record of the day of Lavos. The slowest battle speed in this version is 1.5 times faster than the Super Nintendo one. It was plenty f the speed was fine in the Super Nintendo one. I wouldn't want it any faster from when we were in the forest. I couldn't even tell what was going on as fast as it was. Any faster would be even more of a problem. What was that? Lavos, is that what destroyed the world? This is really our future? No, it can't be. I won't believe it. Wait, did we just watch satellite footage of the past of our world being blown up by a volcano or something? Is that what just happened? This can't be the way the world ends. But the world ain't too bad here, you got ghosts and giant rats. And no food. That's right, we could change it, change history, just like Jano did when he saved me. Right, Bulma? Right, Jano? We're just standing there? Yeah, I guess so. We've got gates that will let us move through time. What do you say, Jaina? Okay. Lavos. Was Lavos not a volcano? It looked like a volcano. sometimes there was a creature that emerged from underground it looked like just an eruption it looked like a, like a Pompeii situation I didn't notice any creature Wait, so we need to get to that dome that was to the east, right? So we can... That's where the portal... It's kind of like sliders, now that I think about it. Because there's like the portal... They have to find out where the next portal is going to be. All your food's rotten, and also that little girl's dad's dead. Okay, goodbye. I did find this one sesame seed, though, so you could split that amongst yourselves. And what did you discover? This is our future. Huh? Who cares? Where's the food? Yeah, that, that that's, doesn't mean anything to them. This was the only thing left. A seed. You don't know how long that Enertron will hold out. That seed might be your only hope. 
Anyway, just stay alive. Don't give up. We won't either. Hmm. You're a strange bunch. You're different from us somehow. You mean because we haven't lost hope? Hope. There's a word I haven't heard in some time. It does have a comforting ring to it, though. I don't know what kind of seed this is, but I'll do my best to grow it. What's that? This may be just the thing we needed. You're off to Protodome then? You'll need to pass through Site 32. Take this with you. Jet bike? What? It's the key to a jet bike parked at Site 32 ruins. I used to ride it when I was young. Hopefully it still works. What if we get there it just doesn't work? You throw the key away. They've got even more powerful robots in that dome and they've overrun the place. Take care and don't give up hope. You can't make me. I just noticed the stomach growl sound that plays when it says you're still hungry. Okay, I thought she was going to ask about her father. I guess not. Abandoned sewers. Oh, this is probably just side stuff, right? Damn it! <sighs> Look out, eek, outside. He's better report to Crawley. Okay. Okay, I thought they were immediately going to put us into a fight, but I'm pretty sure they said we needed to go uh, to the East Dome. 2300 AD. Obtain Mid Potion. Whoa, that's a bike? It's a big freaking bike. Great. Hold it right there. Uh. Oh. Bro. Thanks for the intro, boys. Bro? That's. Bro? You lowlifes can call me Johnny. I'm the leader of this pack. Now listen up, the ruined highway up ahead's the only road you've got. You want to reach the other side, then you're gonna have to ride in a race against me, that is. I'll let you use that jet bike, because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat it, and don't you dare chicken out, babe. So, do you shiny axles know how to ride? Nope. Aside from the stuff added in the DS port, where you go into portals to separate zones, none of the side stuff is really side stuff. Well, the thing, I'm pretty sure they told us to go to the dome on the east, so I'm assuming the sewers was an optional side thing. And since we don't want to sp I mean, I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this game, I'm just going to say that straight up. So the best chances we have is if I, you know, don't do, you know, if I try to focus as much as I can on the main storyline sequence. Uh, there's only one speed fast. To steer, just press up and down directional buttons. Tap the B button for a turbo boost. It'll give- I'll give you three of them. The B icon show how many you have left. Just like F-Zero. You can't use another until the gauge above the icon refills. Check your position from the finish line on the screen. Show me what you've got, babe. Okay. Oh! Alright. This is like a- oh, I thought it was gonna be a top-down view, now I'm really confused. What? Why did- why did they show the front of us just to turn the camera perspective? That's- That was kinda weird. I'm getting points. So I guess we just want to use a boost when we're almost to the finish line. That would make the most sense, right? We're almost there. Oh! Oh no! Okay, we got there sooner than I thought. Uh, 
Okay, so I know to use the boost a little bit sooner. It's weird, because you're not actually racing. It really is just a timing thing for when do you boost at the end. Because you're going back and forth anyways. Oh, left, actually, the numbers... Okay, ignore the bottom. I think on top, when that hits zero, you want to just boost ahead before it gets to zero, it looks like. So that's what we really want to focus on. Oh, what the heck? I boosted and then he just somehow zoomed ahead of me after I boosted. What the hell was that? Okay, so do I need to zoom ahead and then also aim myself so that I bump into him? That's gonna be really tricky. get a practice one in since we get three boosts. <sighs> Did he beat me again? I boosted in front of him and booty bumped off of him, but then he still zoomed up. I, I checked a long play to see how far along I was and there was a long play that was like 16 hours and I was at the one hour point after playing for over two hours. So I'm going half the speed of that and I'm sure I'm only going to get slower and slower as I get farther in and the areas get more complicated. So for me it's definitely going to be at least probably like a 30 hour playthrough. But I'm sure it's 20 hours for someone who, like, knows what they're doing. Yes! Screw that guy! Yeah, you got a freaking bump in front of his face. If, if for you two it was probably 20 hours, for me it'll probably end up being like 30. Because I'm already behind and within the first... Uh, the very first part of the game. You beat me? I don't get it. Well, you can come challenge me again anytime. Alright, so now we actually made it across. And I think this is the dome. What is this? Derelict factory. Okay. Where's the entrance to this place? Proto dome.
most like long plays and stuff are just people playing through the game in general probably also aren't going to be reading out most of the lines out loud too so that's like another thing to consider for playthrough length wait a minute that robot looks familiar but it's like a smaller doesn't it doesn't look like kind of like a smaller version of Bulma's robot what's this thing it's in bad shape, but it looks like a humanoid robot. Incredible. Hmm, I think I can fix it. What? Fix it? What if it attacks us like the other ones? I'll make sure it won't. Robots don't attack of their own free will, you know. They have to be programmed to. They only do it because humans make them that way. You really feel for them, don't you? I'd better get to work. The door won't budge. I mean, I'll check, I'll check the long play I was looking at again to compare how far along I am this time and we'll see if maybe I'm a little more caught up, but more likely I'll probably be just as far behind, if not farther behind, I'm thinking. Because if I'm if I'm already half way, like if if it's taking me twice as long for the first hour of the game, then I assume that it's going to be a trend. I'm going to give it some juice. Well, the long play is a good source because I can directly compare it to how fast I'm taking. Whereas how long to be, like, it's not like I get a, it's not something I can scrub through and compare side to side. Good morning. Good. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress. I'm lunch. This is Jano. And that's Bulma, the one who fixed you. Understood. Madam Bulma restored my circuits. Just Bulma will do. Well, the, well, the whole point of a long play is that it's, it's not a speed run and it's not skipping through stuff. Generally speaking, that's what a long play is supposed to be. But in terms of editing, if, if I don't know... If, if they were editing to make it shorter, generally, generally you wouldn't do that on most long plays. You wouldn't do that, but that's just because usually people doing long plays, I think they're, they already know the game a decent amount. They're just kind of casually playing through it. But anyways. Uh, that manner of address could potentially cause offense. I'm incapable of offensive speech. Well, some of us don't like it when people are so formal all the time. Isn't that right, Lynch? Hee hee. Understood, Bulma. Alright, so what's your name? Oh, we're gonna name him, right? Perhaps you're referring to my serial number. My serial number is R66Y. R66Y, cool. She would think that's cool. Oh, we don't get a name R66Y? Come on, Jaina, let's give him a better name. Oh, okay. It should have said R66Y. <laughs> Including the dash, that's five characters. Okay, uh... I could call him R66Y. Um, let's see. Hmm. 
How about... Rick Astley? Never gonna give you up. Give you down. Oh, this song does sound like that. What the heck? Why does it sound like never gonna give you up? What the hell? That's weird. Um... Robot. Robot. What's a robot I like? Well, he was referring to his serial number, which that was given to him by people who wanted him to act like a ser servile machine. So I don't know if that's the best basis to be like, okay, I guess that's your name. We're trying to treat him like a comrade. Jero. But Sword hates Dragon Ball names. Oh, naming them Robo is offensive. <laughs> um, Rob, r robotic operating buddy. You know what, my favorite F-Zero pilot happens to be a robot. He's the Mighty Gazelle. That doesn't fit, so how about Gaz? We'll go with that. Gaz, that's perfect. Oh, Gazelle, you're right, Gazelle would've fit. If I, well, I was thinking of like the proper spelling, but yeah, I guess I could have just shortened it. Your new name is Gaz, okay? My name is Gaz. Data storage complete. Hey Gaz, there's something I was hoping you could. What happened here? This dome contained many humans and others like me. Oh dear, this is kind of hard to say, but I think something awful happened while you were out. I don't think anyone else has left. I see. What about yourselves? We came through a gate, uh, a time warp from the year 1000. We learned there was a gate here when we went to Eris Dome. And then we found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chamber is sealed shut, so it looks like we're out of luck. The dome's power has been shut off completely. The factory to the north contains an emergency power generator for this dome. I can bypass security to activate it. Shall we go there? You do that for us? You repaired me, now it's my turn to be of assistance. However, the generator will produce power for only a short time. Gaz is already, like, speaking much less robotically. Someone must remain here to open the door as soon as- Oh, because we can only have three party members at a time, I'm guessing, so we have to decide who to leave behind. Lunch or I can stay. Uh, who should we leave behind? I'm generally, generally not sure myself. So I'll just let you guys decide. It just got awkwardly quiet. Leave lunch behind because she's lame. 
But she's trying not to be lame. It's not her fault she was born into royalty. But okay, I'll go with that. Hopefully she'll be okay by herself. Finally, you can't imagine how boring it's been here. Uh-oh. Uh, gotta go. <laughs> She's only been here for- she really is a spoiled princess. She's been here for five seconds, we haven't even left yet. Finally, it's been so boring. So I believe they said this factory up here. So I'm glad I didn't go into here first, because we were going to have to go here after meeting Robot anyways. Override security system zero zero. What the heck? Uh, is that a, one of the spirits? So that means we have to use... We have to use Ella elements on it, I believe. One damage! Everything does one damage? Rocket punch and cure beam. When did you get those? Oh, that's gases. Okay, that did a little more damage. What hypno wave? Can we put this thing to sleep? Nope. Okay, maybe just melee attacks. Boma leveled up, that's good. Left laboratory, right factory. Which one do we want to go to? Risk of death, deactivation of factory conveyor belt forbidden. Stopping the bubble activate the security system, which could result in a loss of life. Oh. Okay. There we go. I was wondering when the next save spot would be. I'll probably wrap up in a little bit. We'll, we'll play a little bit more first. I guess this is a dead end. Oh, there's an elevator here. We just walked up. Oh, I see. Whoops, I ran into the robots like a big dummy. It might have just been like a such a small lift that we couldn't see it over the player's sprites, but maybe it's a gravity elevator. I wonder if there's anything we can equip on the gas. Should check. Tin arm, iron helm. I don't want to give them that. Titanium fist. Right now he has stamina plus two. I guess it makes sense a robot would have a lot of stamina. <laughs> Did he have a lot of, lot of defense? I guess he would, right? He basically just is armor, just walking armor. There's like things that look like you could interact with them, but they're not actually.
and its bow. Why are these rooms just... Wait, what? Huh? I'm so confused. Stop bullying guys. Guys learned a laser spin and supersonic something or another. Okay. Are we just gonna fight one robot after another? Or more than one robot after another? Supersonic dual tech. Ow. I wonder, can here? No. In here, you can't, like, paw, you can't open your menu or anything. Kinda sucks. Whoops, I didn't mean to put it on auto. I don't think you can hypnotize robots. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Try the fire version for more damage. Overheat their circuits. Okay, good choice. This whole era of RPGs. I, I, I honestly didn't have much RPG experience for Super Nintendo games. Aside from maybe Super Mario RPG, which I'm gonna have to play very soon since the remake comes out in, what, 12 days now? And yeah, it's... It's going to be a lot of RPGs for the next couple weeks, I guess. At least I think Super Mario RPG is a little bit on the shorter side. Okay. I can use your Cure Beam. Yeah, there we go. And you know what? I never use those ether potions, so... I've never ran through this game because I don't like the way the turns work. Yeah, honestly, if you tell you, this isn't really my style of combat because it's... I don't... I prefer being able to just stop and think every single little choice. And you don't get to do that quite as much in this one. 
it's 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 really just me. I, it's hard for me to do so many things. There's just a lot of things going on. I mean, so far I've been doing okay with it, but I feel like at a certain point it's probably going to start... I might start having some trouble. RP Super Mario RPG is a smidge shorter than Chrono Trigger. I'm so lost. How would I like Bravely Defar or Octopath Traveler? Those are like hundred year long RPGs, right? Probably not that that well to be honest. To activate the crane, wait for the tone and white flash, and then press any two of Y, X, B, A, one after the next. Y, X, B, Y, A, one after the next. That's... What? What is this? Why did they make that so complicated? So, so now we've moved that out of the way so we can go back and walk through there, I guess. But that's the thing though, it's not a, like... I don't want the battles to be going at 8 times speed, I just want there to be a reasonable amount of battles but not like a crazy amount of excess filler going on. Thunderblade? Ultra high security door lock system code. X A B Y. Did I run into an ultra high security door lock system? Oh, I can move where it goes on the screen. What the heck? A B Y X? I thought it was X A B Y. Wait, which is it? Is it X A B Y or A B Y X? I have no idea where I'm supposed to go because they said that was for some security door that I haven't run into yet. Crane control codes. A, B, or Y, Y. Oh! So I just happened to do the right one, but there's another one I should do, Y, Y? Isn't Baldur's Gate 3 more like a Western RPG, like Dungeons and Dragons style? Where it's just like basically more role-playing. It's empty. Hang on. There we go. So, so I need to go back to the crane and press YY. But now it's suddenly the inst I understand what the heck was going on with that. Oh wait, the crane was up in this room.
What? I didn't. <sighs> okay. Did we could just take them out quickly. It's a CRPG. I heard that, or I've seen like videos of cats being scared of cucumbers. Is it because like in their peripheral vision they look like snakes and like just instinctually it makes them like try to jump away? Oh my god, more robots. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. He like headbutted him. Yeah, I've done a little bit of, like, tabletop style RPGing. I'd like to do more. I'd like to, to even, like, DM at one point. I think that could be fun. So there was just another barrel. It's gonna move out of the way now. I just happened to put in the combination for the other one. Your character accidentally got sworn in into a Cthulhu cult. I just realized I'm like above. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. I'm so confused. How do I get? I moved those barrels now. Okay. So now I can run through this. But, is this the security door that now I have the code for? No, that's an elevator. Uh, someone's interference caused it? Was it futility? I always knew that futility was up to no good. Does anyone know where the security door is? I feel like I'm just gonna be wandering around and that's where it just starts getting... Unfortunately, the enemies do just respawn when you go back to a room where you've already killed enemies. I know I could save in the lab area. Let me go that way. Maybe this was the door they were talking about. Oh. No, that's not. Okay. 
Um, let me check. Nope, can't interact with that. So this is just a dead end. I'll just kill these things real quick, I guess. It like exploded and did a bunch of damage. <laughs> Zero damage to the red one. This one also exploded and did a lot of damage. Cool. for a second. Okay. Oh, we got XP. Oh! This was something you could interact with, you just had to kill those things first, even on the other rooms you didn't have to. Patch opened. Okay. And this looks like one of the healing pot. No. Okay, this seems to keep going now in some direction. The way he was like zigzagging away. All right, this is gonna keep going. I, I think I'm gonna go back since we we hit that save spot, and I think I'm gonna save here and just wrap up for the night, and then we'll just try to continue from here. I do have some stuff I have to do tonight still. You could use a shelter at a save point for a hill. Oh yeah. How many of those do I have? You use it at a save point, so you're standing over it and then you you go to it. Cool. So now we're we're fully Alright, we're gonna go ahead and take a break, but we're, we're, we are gonna play more of this. Probably tomorrow, I should be definitely free tomorrow. I do have some stuff I have to do tonight. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. I do, I reactivated my Gamefly, so I am waiting for the new WarioWare to come, so I'll probably... Sword gave me permission to play that. Uh, well, at this point, by the time I get it, I'm already going to have done a few streams on this. So, that is already my obligation. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the new WarioWare soon, when, whenever that gets to me. Maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. Thanks for never giving it up, the game, and never letting us down. No problem. Is it good? Is it, it? It's it's kind of a spiritual sequel to Smooth Moves, right? Because it's more focused around the motion. I'm a little concerned about how that'll work because I feel like the motion controls were better with the Wii Remote, but you know, as long as it's fun. If you can get Mike over has co-op for the whole story mode. Oh yeah, maybe. We'll see. Um, I think I think Get It Together has co-op as well for the sto whole story mode. But the the side game co-op is what I'm really interested in because they usually have really fun side game co-op stuff. But all right, I'm gonna wrap up now. Thanks everyone for joining. Have a good rest of your weekend. Good night.